It is the second match of the semifinals of the WTC tournament. And you know what you love? You love a rivalry, which is exactly what we've got here. We have a man who's won on Quizzlemania and a man who has won on Alex McCarthy's Talk Wrestling. So let's see. This is essentially their rubber match against each other. So let's see who wins this one. I'm excited about it. First of all, he is the former three-time Quizzlemania champion, former Quizzlemania tag team champion. And he's just a wonderful human being, isn't he? It's Tempest. Tempest, how you doing, sir? Oh, Peshaw. Oh, <laughs> Peshaw. It's 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 quite lovely to be back. The last couple. I don't wanna I don't wanna bury my former competition, but may have had a couple 10-8 rounds the last the last couple, but I'm anticipating that this one may be a lot closer. I've got some scores to settle with my good friend over here. Let's see how it goes. Absolutely. And, and I, I don't want to put down uh, your previous competition either, but this is uh, by far your toughest challenge of the tournaments because the man you are facing, the man who has seen every match, the man who defeated you in Alex McCarthy's uh, talk wrestling quiz, another wonderful human being in his own right, SP3. SP3, good sir. This is really the match you wanted i mean you said it after your match with brandon that you wanted to take him down again do you think you're going to do it today um i i didn't think at that time that i would have baby brain like i do my kids are about to be two years old so i'm not i'm not at my tip top <laughs> brain level as i would hope to be against probably the toughest competition that i will verse it, regardless of what round it is, Tempest knowledge on professional wrestling. I've said it to him in private. I'll say it here. It's by far the best in wrestling media. So this is the toughest test yet. Yes. And while it is a rivalry, it is a friendly rivalry. And you love to say that. Now, everybody knows the rules of this tournament. And if you don't, well, we're going to tell them to you anyway. So Sarah Priebus, please inform us. What are the rules? Hi, I'm Sarah Priebus, and here are the rules for the Wrestling Trivia Challenge. Each game consists of 20 questions. Starting with the player who drew first, the players take turns alternating between the 20 questions. Each contestant has 10 seconds to answer each question, and the contestant gets a point per correctly answered question. If contestant incorrectly answers their question, the opponent has an opportunity to provide a correct answer. If both contestants fail to answer correctly, no one gets the point for that question. Each contestant has the opportunity to skip one of their own questions for an alternate question without penalty. The opponent cannot answer a skipped question, but can answer the alternate question if the initial player answers that one incorrectly. The first contestant to reach 10 points or whoever has the most points after all 20 questions have been asked will be declared the winner. In the event of a tie, a special tiebreaker will take place until one contestant wins the game. Now let's ring the bell and get this match started. And as always, Sarah, we greatly appreciate the work that you do each and every week. Reading us the rules, it saves me a ton of time. And a lot of tripping over my own words, because that happens a lot. We did a drawing before the show, and SP3, as he did in the last match, won the drawing, but elected to defer. Let's see if that strategy pays off for him yet again. Tempest, you get the first question, and here it is. What was the opening match of NXT TakeOver War Games? 10 seconds. <clears throat> NXT TakeOver War Games, meaning yes. the first one? Yes. Um, which was 2017. Oh my God, that was like five years ago. Uh, Riddle versus Cash Sona. That is incorrect. SP3, you have 10 seconds. Go. Um... Roderick Strong versus Eric Young. That was also incorrect. Um, I don't know what happened to the question, but that, there's where it was. Um, Tempest, you actually had half of it right. You had Cassius Ono, but it was Lars Sullivan. 
Oh God. Yeah. Why would they start off the show? (laughs) Why would they start off? You want to kick it off hot, and apparently that's how you do it. Uh, I only remember two matches from that show: the War Games and Velveteen Dream versus Aleister Black. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all anybody remembers from that one. That was the following year too. I, yeah, that, that was, was the following year, year actually, because uh, it was Drew and uh, Andrade for the title, the first one. No, no, Alistair Black versus Velveteen Dream. That was their feud. It was. Oh, oh, I was, yeah. I was thinking uh, Velveteen and Champa. Sorry. Yeah. Right, um, right, right, right. My bad. <laughs> my brain's not there today either. Well, this is going to be a fun episode then. If we're only one question in, and we're already screwed. Uh, Brett's just chomping at the bit over on the other side. All right, next question. Uh, SP3. Which individual did Ray Phoenix last eliminate to win the Casino Tag Team Royale at AEW Revolution 2021? 10 seconds. Go. Um, Christopher Daniels? It's not Christopher Daniels. Tempest. 10 seconds. Go. Was it Jungle Boy? It was Jungle Boy. That is correct. I seem to recall that that was like a double baby face finish. You know, I I wish that tag team battle royals would go like that, where one representative of a team can still win it for their team. I I really enjoyed how they had that set up. All right, Tempest, here's your next question. And this one is a fan submitted question from our buddy, Paul Mead. Paul, thank you for the question. And here it is. In 2003, which wrestler in WWE had the gimmick of being The Rock's favorite wrestler? 10 seconds. Go. Uh, Simon Dean. It's not Simon Dean. SP3. 10 seconds. Go. I'm thinking of two people, but I'll go with the first one I thought of. Christian. It's a good thing you went with that one, because that's correct. It was Christian. That's how he came up with the peeps. It was. Oh, that's on the right. Peep that's right. Look at you thinking. Big brain. <laughs> thinking, thinking, thinking. All right. Here is the next question. SP3. What was the main event of Unforgiven 2007? 10 seconds. Oh, Go. Man. It's not that one, then it has to be. Is it Batista versus Great Kali? It is not Batista versus the Great Kali. Tempest. Ten Undertaker and Mark Henry. That's what it was. Yeah. Undertaker and Mark Henry. Uh, Great Kali, yeah. Batista, yeah. and Rey Mysterio was a, a triple threat match for the world title. Yes. Show. I was thinking about that. a bad pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> It, yeah, not not really. It's, it's such a weird main event. Like, I know it was Taker's return, but I was like, that's Dang. what you go on last with. I don't book. I don't know. All right, Tempest, your next question. And considering the fact that you've probably watched all of these for a recent uh, Wrestle Talk video, this one should probably be a layup. Who was the 30th entrant in the 2005 Royal Rumble? Ric Flair. Don't even need the time. I didn't think you would. That is correct. All right, SP3. Let's see how well you know your theme song lyrics. Whose theme song contained the following lyrics? I pass my picket fence and gaze across my new mode lawn. Kerwin White? Yes, it is Kerwin White. <laughs> Nicely done. That was going to be my guess. If either one of you would have pulled up Michael Cole, because he did use that theme at the WrestleMania I went to, oh, wow. I would have been impressed. But yeah, Kerwin White was who I was looking for. Tempest, your next question. Who did Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit defeat to become the inaugural WWE Tag Team Champions? Edge and Rey Mysterio. Don't even need the time again. You got it. Right there in the Ruthless Aggression era. That's that's my strongest point. If I've seen it, it's in there. <laughs> there you go. I understand that completely. SP3, here's your next question. Which former NFL star competed alongside Roddy Piper and Ric Flair in a six-man tag team, six-man tag, defeating the NWO in the main event of Slamboree 1997? 
Kevin Green. It is Kevin Green. Nice. Watch True. Uh, watch True Rewind on the True Hill Heat. Now on Fightful Overbooked. Actually, we watch. There you it. go. <laughs> There's a lot of people over on Fightful Overbooked. Oh yeah, all of them deserving. <laughs> all right. Now this one might be a little bit tricky, Tempest. It is ruthless aggression, but uh, see how much you know a little bit about the champ. Who won the women's championship on my birthday in 2006? Ten seconds. Go. Greg, I haven't got the slightest clue when your birthday is. Uh, people who won world the title. Uh, Lita. At the buzzer. It was Lita. Yeah. Cyber Sunday happened on my nice. birthday in 2006. Nicely done. Nice pull. Not that there were a whole lot of options of who won the women's title in 2006. There's only three people I could yeah, guess. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Mick, Mickey. Uh, Trish and Lita. Mickey and Lita. Yeah. Mickey and Trish. Yeah. All right. SP3, your next question. And you both still have your skips. Which AEW star was once known as Scott Carpenter? 10 seconds. Go. Scott Carpenter. Uh, I'll use my skip for this one. <laughs> All right. Tempest, did you know that one? I It's in there, but I can't think of it. It would have been Kenny Omega. That's right. Uh, yes. Yeah, but no, no harm, no foul. Uh, we are going to your skip question and all these skip questions as they have been all tournament are provided by jb3 jb3 appreciate you and sp3 here is your skip question who was the first wrestler to dethrone a tnt champion on pay-per-view 10 seconds go darby allen it's darby allen nicely done. only one to do it on pay-per-view pretty much yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a barn burner here, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is exactly what I hoped it would be. Next question. Tempest. Which WWE Hall of Famer was the last person eliminated in the main event of the 1989 Survivor Series? Ten seconds. Go. <sighs> Mr. Perfect. It was not Mr. Perfect. SP3, ten seconds. Go. Um, Macho Man Randy Savage it was not Macho Man. Uh, Mr. Perfect was probably the closest answer because it was actually Bobby the Brain Heenan. <laughs> I'll be honest, most like the first 10 Survivor Series all just kind of blend together in my mind. Yeah, the, yeah, th th those Survivor Series tag team matches, unless you've watched all of them continuously, just kind of blend together. All right. SP3, your next question. I hope you get this one, because it's such a classic. Uh -oh. Which wrestler said the following line in a promo? L Dandy, I think you're a heck of a wrestler. You're a great technician in the ring, and you're a jam-up guy. Ten seconds. Go. Um, I'm going to guess Chris Jericho. It is not Chris Jericho. Tempest, ten seconds. Go. I'm hoping it's the same promo that I'm thinking of. Is it Bret Hart? It's Bret Hart, yeah. Who are you to doubt El Dandy? <laughs> I, I, I would be lying if I said that was not my favorite Bret Hart promo. I've been thinking about that promo all week for some reason. It's just been in my head. S snarky, not giving a crap Bret Hart is the best Bret Hart. Mm -hmm. All right. Point for Tempest. And he gets everybody's favorite question here on WTC. According to Spotify... Which current WWE superstar has a theme called Shake the Ground? 10 seconds. Uh, Go. Otis? It is not Otis. SP3, 10 seconds. Go. Shake the Ground. Um, Tamina? It is not Tamina. Tempest, when you said, oh, I was thinking you were going to pull it, but it was not Otis. It was Omos. It was my second guess. <laughs> All right, SP3, let's see how well you know your championship history for this one. The Honky Tonk Man is the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion in history. Who has the second longest reign? 10 Mr. seconds. Perfect. It's not Mr. Perfect. Tempest, 10 seconds. Go. 
Uh, is it Cody Rhodes? It's not Cody Rhodes either. It's all the way back to Pedro Morales. Ah. Santino, the honk a perfect mountain meter. I, I almost, when I read that question, said the honky tonky man. Yeah, I almost did. <laughs> I missed the honk meter. Anyway, Tempest, your next question. What was the shortest main event match in WrestleMania history? 10 seconds. Go. Are we are we being technical here and saying Yokozuna and Hulk Hogan? Yes, we're being technical yeah. because that's a great answer. <laughs> All right. I think the right answer otherwise is still Yokozuna and Bret Hart. Probably so. If you want, like, I, proper, I mean, proper if match. it's not Hoko, Hoko, Hogan, Yokozuna, it might be Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, because that match technically only lasted like 40 some seconds. Technically. If you want to get technical. I think Drew and Brock is also up there for shortest ever. Oh, it's definitely yeah. up there. That one's yeah. less than five. All right. SP3, your next question. Who did CM Punk face in his first TV match in AEW? Powerhouse Hobbs. It was Powerhouse Hobbs. That is correct. Nicely done. All right, Tempest, your next question. Who is the longest reigning Impact Knockouts champion in history? Ty Valkyrie. Well, I have the clock. <laughs> it's correct. You guys are rattling these off like they're nothing. Good job. Uh, SP3. Yes. Uh, your next question. Who defeated the Sandman in a dueling Canes match at Living Dangerously 1998? Just incredible. It was not just incredible. Tempest, 10 seconds, go. Uh, 98. Sabu? It is Sabu. Nicely done. Very nice. What a shot in the dark. <laughs> Oof. Pulling an ECW question. Well done, Tempest. All right. You still have your skip? You probably don't need it, though. It's fine. Your next question. Who won the opening match of SummerSlam 2008? MVP. And with 10 points, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match. Oh, and moving down. on to the finals with his best performance yet, honestly. It's Tempest. Tempest, incredible job. Good, sir. Uh, SP3 gave you a battle. And SP3, I have to say, you honestly, I... I kind of thought you were, would make the finals. I knew Tempest was going to be a tough battle, uh, but it, it was a toss-up between the both of you. You did very well throughout the tournament. Uh, definitely earned your place in this. What do you have to say to Tempest as he moves forward to face off against Brett Storm? I knew if I was going to lose in this tournament, it was going to be to Tempest. His knowledge is up there. He's kind of in the same realm of the knowledge that uh, I have, but he has he has a better memory than me, honestly. Like I said at the beginning, I got twins, man. I got, I got too much on my mind, but excellent work. Yes, and Tempest, uh, next next week, it will be the battle of the former fan Quizzlemania champion versus the former Quizzlemania champion as... It's Scotland against Canada. It's it's another international winner. We have not had an American winner of this tournament yet. We've, this is our third one. We had Canada win the first one. We had England win the second one. Uh, so what do you think is going to happen? Brett is the only person in this tournament. He's gotten 10 every single round. So well, he is terrifying. He, it is terrifying. Hey, trust me. I have to face whoever wins. So... It, it makes me nervous watching you guys the entire way through. But if anybody can dethrone Brett en route to yours truly, it's got to be you, Tempest. So what do you think is going to happen next week as you take on the former two-time fan Quizzlemania champion? I'm going to show him like he's a fan Quizzlemania champion. The real Quizzlemania champion is going to step up and take his place at the height of this tournament. I'm going to have another knockout shot, two in a row. Boom! That's all it's going to take. Put him down for the one, two, three, all the way to ten. Kick him, in, kick his ass out of the tournament. Almost made it through. Slipped up at the end. Whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. 
you're forgiven. That's perfectly okay. All right. SP3 again, thank you very much. Uh, check out SP3 over at True Heel Heat, over at Fightful Overbooked. He's a lot of places. Go check him out wherever he's at. And of course, go check out Tempest over at Wrestle Talk. He'll probably be in Quizlemania this month. This is probably being uploaded after Quizlemania is done, but it's fine. Uh, so until next time, until the finals of the tournament, thank you very much for joining us on Wrestling Trivia Challenge. It's Brett Storm and Tempest in the finals. Who's going to win it? You'll find out next week. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>